Hey guys, back with another Stephen King book review. Haven't done one of these in a while. I was doing the the reread, which I'm still going to be doing. But I mentioned before I'll be taking breaks from that when he releases a new book because, to be quite honest, I can't wait to read a new one. So I think the last one I did was The Shining. So I was going to do Night Shift next because that's night that's next chronologically. It's a short story collection. And Sleeping Beauties came out, so I decided to read that first. came out in September. I got it in October, and it took a really long time to read. I'm really sorry about that. Um, I don't know. It's by um, Stephen King, obviously, and his son Owen. Owen King, not um, Joe Hill, which is his other son, who, making a big name on his own. Um... Yeah, so this book takes place in Dueling, West Virginia, and something happens, and it makes it that makes it so every woman, when they fall asleep, woman, child, every female, uh, every human female, when they fall asleep, they don't wake up, they don't die, but they're kind of like in a hibernation, and. They grow like a web-like cocoon over their face. And, you know, people don't know what to think of this, so some people start, like, removing the cocoon from their face, and that wakes them up, and they become violent and start wanting to kill you and hurt you, and they just go mad. So they learn to leave, you know, the cocoons on the face. And at the center of all this is this lady named Evie, who we're introduced to at the beginning of the book, who goes, there's a trailer, like, where they're dealing meth, I believe, and she kills a couple people there, and near there, where she came from, is this tree, this really big, huge tree in the woods, there's a fox, there's a snake, there's a tiger, I believe these are all forms of her, sort of, and she can also take the form of, like, moths. But yeah, um, so what happens to these women is they're hibernating, but while they're hibernating, they're in another, like, plane of existence. They're in dueling still, but it's another version of dueling where there's no men. And what happens is there's only men left in this existence, so everything starts to go to crap. Um, yeah, I could say it goes to shit now because... I'm not getting any, uh, can't monetize my videos anyway because I don't have a thousand subscribers, so whatever, I can swear my head off now if I want to. So everything, everything starts going to shit. Um, they, they arrest, before the police chief, this woman, before she falls asleep, she arrests this Evie woman, puts her in jail. She ends up falling asleep, not Evie, the... The sheriff lady and so the prison ends up after a while being in, run by men there's some women inmates who have stayed awake but and the the regular townspeople have become run by this guy named Frank I believe is his name and he kind of like ran the pound and, he's, and so he became in charge of them he kind of the regular sheriff took over after the the lady sheriff went to sleep he was kind of a pushover so and an alcoholic, so kind of let Frank take over being in charge. And they wanted to get to Evie because they believed Evie would be the answer. She's like this supernatural weird being, the answer to what's going on. They, she could make all the women wake up. And so, yeah, they decided to attack the prison. And, you know, lots of stuff happens. And so... They, she decides, Evie, that, like, she tells them she can't make them wake up, but she can bring them back if they all want to come back. And they all want to come back, so they come back. And I'm not going to give everything away. Just obviously spoilers I've given you. But a lot of stuff happens. Um, yeah, uh, I don't think this book is great. I mean, the story was definitely interesting. The... I could definitely tell when it wasn't Stephen King writing. 
Um, I don't know if I showed you the cover yet, but here's the book. It's a really cool cover. And I can kind of tell when it was a Stephen King and it was his son writing. And I'm not saying his son's a bad writer. I'm saying it's not really the kind... I just don't think it compares to his father. Unlike Joe Hill, who, Joe Hill, who is also Stephen King's son, who is really good and getting closer to being on the level of his father. But this book took me a long time to read. It normally wouldn't take me this long to read, especially a Stephen King book. And it was kind of a slog in places. It took me a long time. I, I mean, some of it was just falling asleep in bed while I'm reading it, but it took me really long. I wanted to get back to the reread, so I forced myself through it. And my verdict is I like the book. I don't dislike the book. I don't love it. I don't think it's great. Um, yeah, what else can I say? It's it's a decent book. Do I recommend it? Yeah, it's, it's definitely interesting. I do have my problems with it. Like I said, the parts I could tell Owen was writing. And it seems to... I know this is a touchy subject nowadays, but it seems to man bash a little bit. I got no problem with feminism. Feminism's great. I mean, obviously, it's needed in some form. I think people take it a little too far sometimes, but in this book, I think man bashes a little bit. I got no problem with the femi feminism if they're not man bashing. I mean, we're not all, you know, Neanderthals who think women are below us and stuff. We're just not all like that. I'm totally not like that. I've lived with women my whole life. And I think it touches on, it borders on man bashing a little bit in, in certain parts. I don't know if anyone agrees with me who, who's read it, but yeah, it, it talks about how men, you know, they solve everything with violence. And I mean, that's definitely, can't really totally argue with that. But, I mean, it's, it's a it's a general sweeping statement. Obviously, there's exceptions. But, I don't know, it just seems a little like that to me. A little bit. Not too far. Um, but, yeah, it's it's a pretty good book. It's, it's, it's not great. It's not close to being one of his best. It's not close to being one of his worst. But, I mean, personally, I haven't read a Stephen King book that I disliked. I know a lot of people have, but I've liked everything I've read, Pat, which is literally everything. <laughs> but yeah, I'd put this in like the bottom half, probably. I don't know where I'd rank it specifically, but yeah, that's what I say. So I'll show you again. Sleeping Beauties. If you're a Stephen King fan, you know, if you're completist like me, pick it up, read it. And you finally finished it already before I have. It took me way too long. So, yeah, that was Sleeping Beauties. I'm getting back to the reread. Night Shift is next. I'm going to do, I think, what I haven't really seen people do when it comes to his short story collections. I think I'm going to do a short video for every story in the collection. I think that would be really interesting to do. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, Night Shift is probably my favorite short story collection by him. There's a lot of good ones. So looking forward to that. And I'll see you next time.